Hello, how are you? So today I'd like to speak to you about two fathers that decided to do horrible things to their family members and to themselves. Um, they're really disturbing stories. One story is about a black man, the black man that you see on the screen, that decided to broadcast his bad doings on a social media site the other man he didn't broadcast it he just killed himself and his family so first we're going to start with this man right here his name is raji sharif black he decided to kill his ex-wife his ex-girlfriend that had his child in utero and he did all this, put it on a social media website, and allegedly he had his children riding around in the car with him while he was doing all of this. And he also killed himself. So I'm gonna read just a little bit of this article for you because like I said, this dude broadcast this to the world. He put this on social media so you can find it yourself. The heading of this article is man confesses to murder on Facebook live before killing ex-wife himself. A Maryland man gunned down his ex-girlfriend in Balt Baltimore and then killed his ex-wife confessing to the crime spree on Facebook live before taking his own life. Raji Sharif Black 44 admitted he murdered his ex-girlfriend Tara LeBang Saturday afternoon while outside the Columbia apartment building of his ex-wife, Wendy Natalie Black, according to the chilling clip. So Tara LeBang is the ex-girlfriend. She was with child. And Wendy Natalie Black was his ex-wife. Black says on camera that the ex-wife is also about to die. So this is what he is he has said on Facebook before he kills his ex-wife, after he killed his ex-girlfriend, which should all set off an alarm because how is it that you have a recent ex-wife and you've gotten somebody else pregnant? Now you haven't made both of those relationships work, but then you take them both out due to your inability to cope with the life that you chose to make, right? Okay, so I just did something crazy, man. This is what he's saying on Facebook Live. I just shot my ex-girlfriend in the head, yo. Um, felt like a dream. I never thought I would be that guy. Black said he was distraught over child custody issues with both women, saying shit has been real crazy and that he couldn't go to prison. So he did his dirty deeds, but he didn't want to take accountability for his actions. No prison for me. My children get to suffer knowing that I murdered their mother, but no prison time for me. I can't do it because I'm not a real man. Um, the other thing is, like I said, I'm having a hard time understanding how you got into all these situationships so close together. Now they're both asking you to just, I don't know, run some money or maybe just be a father and you kill them both. So when I was watching this video, he said that he was in a, dis, uh, a custody battle and that his wife said that he touched the kids, allegedly, right? Well, crazy that you're in a custody battle and the woman said that you touched the kid. This is what he's telling the internet, right? But he had his kids with him in tow in his BMW when he killed his ex-wife. So how are you in a custody issue? Now, I understand a custody battle is going on for a long time, but you're obviously not in that much of a battle if you have your kids when you're going around killing people, right? Right? Okay. So he goes on. 
The person that really started my depression in all of this is my ex-wife. So go ahead with the blame game. So she is next. And then I'm going to do myself too. But I just wanted to say to say this to people. Don't play with people's emotions, man. Don't lie on these men. So really, if we're honest with ourselves, this is a one-sided story. He gets to tell his portion of the story before he ends everyone's lives. So that's the reason why I'm speaking about this man like this, because we didn't get to hear. He took two women's lives and took a baby in utero's life, but you get to just hear him. So now there's going to be all these emotions for him, the killer, that killed two women because of a custody battle, because of what may or may not have happened. We only know his side of the story right now. So it's going to be easy for a bunch of black males to say, this is what black women do. And this is what black women do to us all the time. And we just can't. And so you deserve to, we deserve to be murdered in order for you to get what you want out of life. Is that what that is? Okay. So um, I'll leave this article in the, in the description box. I don't need to read any more. We've, most of us have seen it. And I'm going to go to the other man that is in Germany that killed his whole entire family. So, so they didn't show a picture of this man. I actually seen his picture somewhere, but in this article, it speaks about a man that killed his family then self over faked vaccine pass. Um, this is a German man and he just offed his family because I lied and I don't want to take accountability. So here we are again with the non-accountability. I'll just off myself and others so I don't have to answer to anyone. A real piece of shit move, but hey, this is the world we live in. So a man who killed his wife and three young children before taking his own life had faked a vaccination certificate and feared his children would be taken away from him when the forgery was discovered. Police found two adults, both 40, and three children aged 4, 8, and 10 dead from a gunshot wounds, from gunshot wounds in a family house. Um, so this man shot his children, a four-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a 10-year-old. And just, again, you know, they happened to be in their 40s. The last man was 44. So a lot of people in their 40s just losing their shit, not being able to handle their shit. But this dude lied. And so, of course, because I lied and I don't know the consequences, let me just take everybody in my family off earth like a piece of shit that I am. I'm not going to give any kind of excuses to people that like um, make the decisions to kill their own kids because of their own decisions. Anything that could have happened would not have been that bad. I understand that they are going hard on all of us, take the vaccine, take whatever. But at the end of the day, you shooting your kids just because you can't, you, you, whatever thoughts were going through your mind. In a farewell note found by police, the man said he forged a vaccination certificate for his wife. Her employer had found out, prompting the couple to fear that they would be arrested and lose their children. Police were called to the house after being alerted by witnesses who had seen lifeless bodies in the house. The grisly case comes as Germany has been, has been tightening up restrictions um, to the pandemic. We'll say that. Um, so this man, another man, uh, Unaccepting of accountability, decided to off his children, his wife, himself, due to bad choices, bad decisions. So it just seems like, you know, no matter how old or young you are, we are all capable of making bad decisions and not taking us accountability for our actions. I don't know what the hell is going on. Personally, for me, I think the world's going absolutely fucking nuts. And this is why everybody's doing strange shit all the time. But don't listen to me. I might just be a crazy person. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
Don't get into entanglements that make the make you want to kill someone or make the other person want to kill you. Smarten up. Ask people about their lives before you lay down with them to have children. And I understand, there, you know, there's a lot of variables in these situations. There's a lot of things to think about before you start having children. But we need to start thinking a little harder before we have children. There's a lot of people losing their lives lately. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Bye.